All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakwadash. Double honors unto the elder high priest, the teachers of our apostles, okay, as well as our apostles and elder uh, bishops at Great Millstone. Okay, peace and blessings unto the 144,000, and as well as the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I have some uh, some scriptures to go into concerning the time when, which is the time of Esau kingdom going down. Okay, to the point where the Most High is going to, uh, ultimately according to the scriptures, the Most High is going to ultimately um, throw him out of rulership. With force, with brute, uh, brute force, through his uh, beloved son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. His true name in the Hebrew is Yahawashai. Okay? And the kingdom, the everlasting kingdom, which is Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father in the Hebrew, Wah, which is and Yahawashai. Which is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus again, okay? And uh, the Israelites' kingdom is, is, is starting right now. The kingdom being built is starting right now, okay? The kingdom being built and um, us coming up into that power seat is happening. So I want to start right here and... Uh, Proverbs the 14th chapter and uh, set this off with the uh, Proverbs 14 and 11. It says the house of the wicked shall be overthrown. And we know that the wicked and I'm going to get the scripture real quick. The wicked is Esau Edom. Okay. Which is the so-called white man. Who is the so-called white man, woman, and child. Their biblical nationality, which is the only, only nationality. Okay. All nationalities go back. Can be found in the, in the scriptures. Okay. And the so-called white man is not exempt. He goes back to Esau. Okay. Which is the father of the Edomites. Let's read this. Malachi 1 and 4. It says, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. But we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. The people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. So the part right here where it says the most high say, well, he, they shall build, but he was going to throw down. Throw down what? Throw their kingdom down. They didn't. They think they built this kingdom with their own might and wisdom. The scriptures tell us that the Most High gave this rulership to them. Job 9.24. Okay. And they're going to be called the border of wickedness. The wicked. Okay. Let's go back to uh, uh oh in the book of Proverbs, okay? It says the house of the wicked shall be overthrown. Yes, the so-called white man. Okay? From their elites, you know, on down to the average uh Edomite. So the Edomites that's working side by side with Jake's, <clears throat> you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, some doing worse. You got Edomites doing worse, that in worse situations, whether it's um, financial or the, the curses uh, befalling them. You know, do they, you have Edomites that are doing worse than Israelites, and that's because their kingdom is falling. It's being, it's really in the process of being overthrown. And the final blow to throw overthrow this place. Is is the thermonuclear destruction of Babylon the Great, 
And before that happens, Yahweh Shai, our Lord Yahweh Shai and the chariots, you know, also lighting this place up with, with uh, spiritual fire, laser, laser heat. Okay. All right. It says the house of the wicked shall be overthrown. I want to, before I finish that verse, let's get Daniel 7 and uh, 18. And these are for us that are, you know, the teachers are in the know, the prophets, in other words, these is, this is a uh, basic scriptures, you know. Daniel 7 and 18, it says, but the saints of the most high and we know who the saints are based upon psalm uh, 148 13 let's get that real quick uh oh what i do okay uh Okay, we got it. Yeah, it's one. It's Psalm one forty-eight, uh, verse fourteen. Excuse me. It says he also exalted that he is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. <laughs> Real quick. So the saints are the Israelites. Okay. And the top saint of the nation is our big brother, our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Uh oh. So we are over here in Daniel 7 and 18 again. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom because. That's how he, this man is going to be overthrown. His his rulership. It's going to be by force. Brutal force. Okay? Because he's not going to get Esau's not going to give up. You know? The scriptures say his inward thought is that his houses shall continue forever. Okay? So this man's not going to uh give up when the most high could make him give up. You know, the Most High can do what, do what he wants to do. He can make Esau throw in the towel, but that's not how the Most High uh, wrote the scriptures or put the scriptures together through the, through, the, um, through the prophets, you know. The mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father are the, are the prophets. And the uh, prophets, let's get that real quick. I think it's Psalm 68. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Psalm, Psalms uh, 8, sorry, 68 and 11. It says, the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. And that's, that's the prophets. Okay. So the Most High, ultimately, he wrote the scriptures. But he used... Uh, men, the prophets, to get the job done to where we have the record uh, of the Bible today. It says, But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. You know? And we're patiently waiting, you know, for that to happen. We are in the beginning stages of the uh, kingdom being set up, meaning the kingdom of heaven. All right. The kingdom of Yasha Allah, which oh, really is the kingdom of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, why Yasha Allah. Okay. All right, now from there, I want to go to 2 Thessalonians to further prove that that's the truth. 
It says, this is in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. It says, then shall that wicked be revealed. You see the wicked got a cap. It's a capital W. Because it's, it's talking about the so-called white man, Esau. And who revealed him? The prophets revealed him. You really, uh, uh, you know, I'll say starting with GMS. I really know starting with, you know, Salakia. You know, starting with. Uh, their teachers, you know, their elders, our apostles' elders, you know, onto our apostles and, um, you know, GMS, and as well as even these other groups, let the world know these other Israelite groups have brought it out that, you know, you so called white man, you the wicked that the Bible speaks of. All right, and just look at their track record. You know, it says, Whom the Lord shall consume, meaning, or uh, you can even say overthrow, right? That you can you you can say that. It says, With the spirit of his mouth, the spirit of the heavenly father's mouth is the prophets. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. All right, there's one uh, primary scripture we go to, you know, to show different things. One is that prophets are the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father. It says, and shall, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So before the Most High actually overthrow this place, this man's kingdom, he have the he always he's gonna have the well he have the prophets set up and the prophets have been set up prophesying the destruction of of this man and his kingdom. Okay. So this word going out that his kingdom is falling and the, the heavenly father is gonna send his son back to destroy this man uh, is tearing this kingdom down. It's you know it's helping overthrow this man's power before the actual destruction comes all right i want to go back to proverbs 14 and 11 it says the house of the wicked shall be overthrown we're uh, like in the in the process of that happening right now we're in the process of this man being overthrown all right not only by us prophesying but prophecy being fulfilled you know, you can see that his kingdom is over, is, is, is done. If, if, if the Lord gave you ears to see, I mean, <laughs> ears to hear and eyes to see, you know, it says, but the tabernacle of the upright, which ultimately is, is Israel, but it's, it's only the elect of Israel as of now. Okay. The elect of the nation of Israel, especially the 144,000. Okay, but the tabernacle of the upright, and really what makes us upright, is our faith in uh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, is our faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which that goes into keeping the law as well, rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay, it says shall flourish. But the tabernacle of the upright shall flourish. All right, which leads me to the next scripture, and I believe I'm going to end on it. Okay. So we can start right here. This is uh, Second Edris, the sixth chapter. So I'm going to start at the 27th verse. It says, For evil shall be put out, and the, and the forerunner of evil, a causing evil, the evil man, <laughs> you know, is the so called white man. Yes, sir. That's that's the man. And deceit shall be quenched. Because when this man is thrown down, there goes the end of, you know, evil saturating this planet Earth. And deceit, or in other words, the devil shall be quenched. This man deceiving the whole Earth, which everybody have woken up to him for the most part. You know, that this man ain't right. Then he's going to 
continue to act in his M.O. Rape, robbery, murder, deceit, lie, and lies of the father of lying. The lying ass piece of shit, man. That's why everything is all fucked up in the earth. All right. This is um second second edge six and twenty-eight. It says, Ask for faith, it shall flourish. And that faith is only gonna flourish amongst a small amongst a small number. Okay? It's not gonna flourish because there's many, many Israelites that believe and have, you know, believe. It's gonna flourish because the faith is gonna be great, or you know, of the elect. And brother's faith is, is still growing. Brothers are still growing in the faith. You know, we, we, we pray for more faith. Especially as we see, you know, the last prophecies, major prophecies right here, you know, at the door. You know? It says, corruption shall be overcome. Yep. And that's happening right now because the truth is going out, destroying all the lies that this man has put out over centuries. And the truth, which had been so long without fruit, shall be declared. That's why you see all these camps, even these other Israelite groups, you know, that are out bringing out the fact that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites. For the most part, most of the Israelite groups agree that Esau is the uh, so-called white man. You know, then you, you know, but really the 100% uh, truth is coming out of the doctrine uh, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which he placed upon great millstones starting with our apostles. Okay? And uh, their teachers. It says, which has been so long without fruit shall be declared. So the truth is being declared all throughout the four corners of the earth. You know? I mean, a, a miracle in itself. And also prophecy being fulfilled. You know? Israelite men waking up to their nationality, preaching all across the world is biblical prophecy. So that prophecy has been fulfilled. Okay? So I'm uh, I'm gonna end it right there, uh, Lord willing. This lesson was edifying, and until the next one, I say, Shalom.